Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to get creative by using the trace function to um, solve for uh, difficult questions. Um, so uh, the problem here is f of x equals the absolute value of 5 minus 3x. Then f of 2 equals what? So we need to find out what the output of f of 2 is when we plug in 2 for x here. And then we have to see which of these five choices matches. So let's solve for f of 2 first. So let's put in our y equals here and put in the function. Absolute value of 5 minus 3x. So we can go to our catalog to find abs. Um, it's one, one place to find it. Actually, catalog, look under a's. abs is the first one, actually. So we can um, push that. And then 5 minus 3x. Close that parenthesis. And now let's go to graph. Let's just go to zoom. Uh, let's go to zoom standard. So uh, F2 for zoom and then 6 for standard. Here's the graph. And now let's find out what F of 2 is. Now an easy way to find out F of 2, just hit F3, which is our trace button, and then just push 2. And that will tell us an enter. And that means when x equals 2, y equals 1. So we want to find which one of these other choices, A, B, C, D, or E, also gives us an output of y equals 1. Now, if we actually zoom in here, I'll, you don't have to do this, but I'll do it to make it a little clearer. F2, and let's zoom in again. And this will make it clearer, probably, as to what the answer is without even finding it. But we hit F3 again to trace. Let's put in again. We had F of 2 equals 1 there. So whatever this spot is here, where we're also about at y equals 1, is going to be the answer. So let's plug in the choices. First, f of negative 2. We're pretty sure this is not going to be the answer. Negative 2, enter. See, it's outside our domain. f of negative 2 is way up here. Uh, f of negative 1 is going to be, I think, the same thing, where it's actually outside of our domain, I think. Uh, negative 1 and the window can't even get it. Um, we could always zoom out and it'd be easy to find. Um, now let's try f of 1. f of 1 equals 2. So we're getting closer, but we want to be right around here. And now we want f of 4 thirds. So let's put in 4 over 3. And there it is, 4 thirds. The y value is also 1. And just for good measure, let's also put in the last choice, choice E, 7 thirds, which is y equals 2, which is not what we want. So choice D is the correct answer, because when we plug in 4 thirds for x, we get an output of 1, which is the same as when we put in the value of 2 for x, will also give us a y value of 1. So choice D is our correct answer.